this video, I'm going to show you an easy spacing concept that you can use out of the trips tied in formation to basically just be able to simply move the ball well against pretty much anything that your opponent is going to throw at you. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I also want to let you know that if you want to get my full trips tied in ebook, I'm going to put a link to my Patreon down in the description below. It's on sale for just 10 bucks a month. So you can join the Patreon for 10 bucks a month. It gets you unlimited access to every ebook. I've got four offensive ebooks. The Trips Tight End Guide is one of them. And then I've also got seven defensive guides. I know that defense is definitely harder in Madden 22, I think, than it's ever been. And that's why we tried to really load up on defensive guys to try to teach as best as we can how you can get consistent stops in this game. So that being said, if you want to get access to uh, the Patreon membership, again, it's going to get you unlimited access to every ebook that I release over the course of the Madden 22 season. And I'm going to put a link to that down in the description. All right, guys, so what we're going to do today, like I said, we're just going to show you a simple space concept. You can use this out of any uh, play in this formation from Trips Tight End. I personally uh, really do like to use the uh, the curl flat play, but you can use anything, okay? All we're going to do is we're going to put our uh, middle receiver of the trips in on a hitch. We're going to put our solo, or our, I'm sorry, our outside receiver on a deep out. We want it to be a 10-yard out route. I find it to be way more successful to use a 10-yard out this year than if you use a 5-yard out. We're then going to take the circle receiver, and we're going to put him on a curl. So you see it's going to look just like this. So this is what the concept on that side looks like. And then on the right side, you can really do whatever you want, honestly. Um, you could leave this corner out and put the running back on streak. You could um, put the tight end on, an, you know, you, you could put the running back on an option route and put the tight end on a flat. You could put the tight end on a curl and the running back on a delay check down. It's like if, if their user goes left and you go right. Um, there's a lot that you could do on the right side. So I'm not super worried about the right side. Really, whatever you want to do um, will be fine. Uh, you can put the running back on a curl and then put this guy on a, you know, out route or corner route or whatever. Um, it's all going to work just fine. I personally don't like to send five out when I run this concept. So what I like to do um, in this is I'm going to actually take the R1 receiver and put him on a, a block. And then I'm just going to take that tight end and probably just simply put the tight end on like a curl or, you know, some kind of like little basic route. Nothing, nothing too complicated, right? Um, but what you're going to see here is the hitch, probably about 95% of the time the hitch is going to be the read, especially against zone this year. Um, vertical hooks in this game, especially since the latest patch, they get pulled back by pretty much everything. So, for example, if I go to the cover two, I think the cover two should be the one defense that does fairly well against this. Um, and what you're going to see here is it does do okay, but this bird hook oftentimes will get pulled back by that hit that curl. In this example, it does it, and then you can just hit your curl just fine. Um, you know, but again, that's just something that I would like to I'd like to encourage you to kind of watch and see. Um, for example, let's say I get a cover two blitz, like the pinch two. Uh, one of the most popular blitzes in competitive Madden right now is pinch two. And what you're going to see here is the same kind of thing. See the vertical hook goes left. We can throw that that curl relatively easily. Okay. Now, if you wanted to, you could also do a curl to the, you could do something like this. I mean, this, there's nothing wrong with this. You could do double hitches if you wanted to. Um, I just like this because I think that this is going to, you know, really mess with most of the defenses. I think this is probably the best route way way to run this play. Now, if they run man coverage on you, uh, the best route on this play is going to be your curl to the slot. So you're just going to basically throw it right when it turns around, hit that secure catch button. That's the X button on PlayStation. On Xbox, I believe that's the A button. So you could easily just do that and get a couple yards. It's real, real simple. Um, another thing that's actually, I think, super effective is to take the running back and put him on a quick little in route. The reason why I like this is more so for man coverage or like a quick blitz or something. Their user is going to be really concerned with that. So it might, you know, you can get that running back open pretty easily um, on that or just simply put him on an option route and then just block your tight end. That's, that's perfectly fine as well. Um, but those are some ways that you can kind of use those two guys on the back side of this to make this just super, super good. Um, against cover three, so if you get like a cover three look, like I said, cover three or cover four, uh, pretty much you're always going to have your hitch. Uh, whether they shade down, shade up, it, it's not going to matter. I'm going to go to Mike Blitz three real quick and just show you kind of what this would look like. 
uh, if you were facing something like a Mike Blitz 3 uh, coverage, I'm going to put a vert hook over there. So you see this is pretty much a double Mabel uh, coverage. I've got cloud flats out there, and then I've got uh, hard flats. And what you'll see is this is our route combo, and you'll see right here that this hitch should get wide open. As you can see, I can low ball inside and just make a secure catch and you know take five yards. What I like about this is this forces your opponent to have to respect some things on the left side. I think one of the things that's really interesting about the way most people have started to defend trips tight end is they're so worried about the crosser and the post, they don't really defend the flooding concepts to the trips. So when you do stuff like this, this kind of reminds them that you can do stuff like that relatively easily. And don't hesitate to look to your out route. I feel like the out route is definitely more of a pull route in this. But one thing I wanted to quickly say is let's say that they are playing um, you know, Mike Blitz 3, they're playing hard flats. What I like about the smart route and out route is that you can sometimes hit this. So you just want to look to the left here, just pass lead outside. You see how I can kind of click on it's like almost like a back shoulder route. Um, so you can sometimes hit that and be be good. Especially again if they're shading their coverage down and then they're maybe trying to get those vert hooks going in the middle of the field. So it looks something like this right they've got really heavy underneath middle coverage but they don't have anything that's going to be the outside flood so you look left you see oh it's you know hard flats i can pass it back to the outside and you can kind of shield that guy i'm not doing a good job of throwing it but basically like right when that guy cuts to the outside uh you would throw that so again let me just do this and then let me just run the routes and what you'll see here, just pass lead right there. Just throw left. And you see that little shield back shoulder catch type animation? You can get that against cover three, cover four. So, um, for example, like here's cover four. If you see that they're like really underneath coverage and the guy is just not going, he's not following, he's not climbing with the out route, you can just throw that all day long. And I'm telling you right now, I've, I've made a living throwing stuff like that. That's a really, really good route. And most people don't use that. So this is just something very simple out of Trips Tight End. We've got some more meta stuff. We've got some more deeper stuff, some higher level stuff in our Trips Tight End ebook. So if you want to get my Trips Tight End guide, again, I'm going to put a link to my Patreon. I would really encourage you to join the Patreon. Again, it's 10 bucks a month. It gets you unlimited access to every ebook. Gives you a personal uh, message dashboard where you can ask your questions, all that stuff. So again, guys, if you want to join the Patreon, 10 bucks a month. There's a link in the description below. So be sure to sign up for that today. And again, remember, you can cancel whenever you want. So it's just 10 bucks, and then like I said, you can cancel uh, whenever you want. You get all the guides that we've done, and you get all the guides that we're gonna do. And we got a lot more stuff planned for this season. So a lot of good stuff coming. Make sure you don't miss out on any of that by joining that Patreon for just 10 bucks a month.